Hello and welcome back to the Excel Tip videos. Today in this video, we will show you how to use offset function in Excel. The Microsoft Excel offset function returns a reference or specific range of cells that is offset from a given reference by a specified number of rows and columns supplied in the arguments. It can also be used to create the dynamic range for tables, pivot tables, charts, etc. Offset function usually is used with other functions as customized functions expecting a reference argument in Excel. It is a volatile function and it gets recalculated whenever there is any change to a worksheet. So let's see how offset function works in Excel with the help of examples. We have taken a small database here and we'll see the output in column i starting from cell i11. So we type offset function here in cell i11 and hit tab 2 to complete. As you can see, offset function takes 5 arguments where first 3 arguments are mandatory. The first argument is reference which is a cell or range that is to be offset or in other words the starting point from which you want to offset. It can either be a single cell or multiple cells. The second and third arguments are number of rows and number of columns respectively you want to offset the starting reference. The numbers can either be supplied as positive or negative integers. The positive integers travel down and right from the starting point for rows and columns respectively and negative integers travel up and left from the starting reference for rows and columns respectively. The fourth and fifth arguments height and width are optional. This is the size of the range that you want to return. Alright, now we first take A8 in the argument as reference then comma. In the second argument we want to offset only one row from the starting point which is A8 in this case so we enter 1 and once again we enter comma. Now we enter 2 in the third argument and we'll skip fourth and fifth argument and close the parenthesis and hit enter. And here we go. The moment we hit enter, we get 5736, the value which is located in C9. But how? We have taken A8 in the range, right? That is because if you look at the function carefully, we first offset one row from A8, which means the cursor travels one row down from A8 to A9 and then in the third argument we offset two columns and it moves two cells to the right in C9 from A9 as reference thus it displays 5736 as output in cell I11. In the next example we will supply negative numbers in the arguments and we'll see what function returns to. So we type offset function in I12 and hit tab 2 to complete. We take D12 as starting point in first argument and then in the second argument we enter minus 1 and in the third argument we enter minus 3 and hit enter. We get test 3 in cell I12 which is located in A11. So it means offset function returned reference to cell A11 Thus, it displays test 3 in cell I12. Alright, in the next example, we will take the height and we will see what offset function returns to. So, we enter offset function in I13 and in the first argument, we select E8 this time and then we enter 1 to travel 1 row to the down and 1 in the third argument as well to travel 1 column to the right. In the fourth argument, we enter 4 as height and in last argument, we take 1 4 width and close the parenthesis. Since we have entered all the arguments, therefore before we hit enter, let's have a look at function once. As we have started with E8 and then we moved 1 row down and 1 column to the right, that means now the cell reference is F9. Now look at the fourth argument where we have taken height of four cells. It means this argument will help offset to pick up the height of the reference range as we have entered four. 
so if you see four cells starting from f9 it is going to be f9 to f12 and then we have entered one for width in that case it is going to be the same column only all right now we hit enter but as soon as we hit enter function return value error but why in this case shouldn't it return to the range f9 to f12 that is because the range cannot be shown in the single cell so if we go into the edit mode and then evaluate the function with the help of f9 we get numbers which are there in range f9 to f12 but let's see what happens when we nest offset function inside some function so we press ctrl z and then we go at the beginning and type sum and hit tab to auto complete then we go to the and and close the parenthesis and hit enter and here we go this time function returns 20687 which is a sum of range f9 to f12 likewise you can use other functions such as count average etc so instead of typing static range you can have the dynamic range which is good when the data consistently gets changed or new rows are being added to the data in the last example let's see what happens when we offset row or column outside the edge of the worksheet so we type offset function in cell i14 and take b8 as a starting point and then we enter 1 to offset one row down and then minus 2 in the third argument to offset two columns to the left as we have supplied negative numbers in the argument and now we skip the last two arguments and hit enter the moment we hit enter we get reference error in cell i14 that is because if you look at it carefully you will see that we have tried to offset two columns to the left by entering negative numbers from b8 which is a starting point but it is offsetting the range outside the edge of the worksheet hence the function return reference error well this is how you can use offset function alone as well as with other functions if you like this video don't forget to click on subscribe button to get regular updates and feel free to share this video tutorial with your friends as well that's all for now we hope you found this lesson informative we shall meet again in our next lesson. Till then, happy learning and have a nice day. Thank you.